I've never seen anyone with skills like My father told me he found me as a young boy, in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. Keep to the shadow. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramal. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Maramar. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Right. Because if it is you, and Maven finds out, the Dreth family is going to be you have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. <coughs> have I told you about Valen, my dear? I love when you spin that yarn. It gets better every time. Mm -hmm. Six Imperial Guards before they dragged him into the prisons. Was this before or after the Mythic Dome attacked the Emperor and Valen single-handedly fought them off? Just shut up and drink, Romulan.
you have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Welcome to the beach. I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here. I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I... Well, we both thank you. Just get out of here. <clears throat> so you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand, it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I believe we're done. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Sabion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The 
The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this... Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Just get out of here. played with Lucy in the park today. I feel sorry for her. Bye, Lars is such a milk drinker. He can't even stand up to a girl. I work for Bellacore at the General Goods Store. Can't a man... I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for Whiterun's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. 
There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the metery would get infested. That's where you should start. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. Treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job. If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little. If Sabjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his metery. And guess who gets to run the Black Bracken at him? Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has another back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there, now you... Lost in the shadow of the Black Came the tongues Remember... Cuts fresh from the wilds. Gawking. Are you kidding me? This place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of... Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently ill. My reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's neck, it should stop them from ever coming. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make cost cheap. Now I've got to clean up this room. Was something we discussed unclear? Was something we discussed unclear? Was something we discussed unclear? Why? 
I've told the captain of the guard we'll have the meadery cleared for the tasting, and he could be here any minute. something.
was something we discussed. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the cap. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. <coughs> Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You! You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you! You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now... move! Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping... If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. I can't believe that worked! I can't believe that worked! I can't believe that worked.
I trust you. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is... Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. Did you get that purchase agreement to Markarth yet? New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Remember to give at the temple. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here, me included. Just wanted to let you know. I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. Come find me if you need more marksman training. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found... Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. 
Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because, even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Golomai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions.
Arangoth was a fool to think Golden Glow Estate provided a huge payout for us before Arangoth locked us out. Maven looked the other way as long as the honey kept flowing and we kept him in line. Let's not kid ourselves. Blackbriar Mead is swill. The only thing keeping it successful is Maven. Word on the street was that hunting brew tasted better, cost less, and Sabjorn didn't shove it down everyone's throat. If Sabjorn ever managed to push Maven off her pedestal, we'd all be in trouble. Look, in case you hadn't noticed, these aren't the glory days of the guild. We've lost more clients in the last decade than I'd care to count, but Maven's stuck with us throughout the entire ordeal. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose her to... well, to whatever they are. When Gullamai was getting us merchandise from the East Empire Company, we were making it... It was so lucrative, I was considering moving the guild to Solitude to save us time. Gullamai started to get greedy and cut us out of the deal. Almost can't say I blame the scaly bastard. It started out innocent enough. He kept claiming the shipments were light because of Imperial interference. Then maybe a few years ago it all stopped. He didn't even bother to contact us anymore. I need you to put all your efforts into this job. 